Hello, and welcome to part one of the chassis tutorial, where we're going to start building bullseye. The list of parts are in the bill of materials that you can find on the VEX form. Let's get started. So the first thing that I like to do is lay out all of my C-channels. I'm using one inch screws with a four and a two spacer to space off the C-channel on the bottom. As you can see, I am connecting one bar at a time starting from the outside to the inside. And then moving from the inside to the outside. Once that is completed, I will make another one of these where I will use the blue screws, which are the one inch screws, and I'll have them six holes apart with four holes in between each of them. Then I'll put the twos on, and then I'll add the half inch spacers after that. Then I'm going to attach this the same way that I attached the previous bar. All right, now, just squaring the chassis. I'm going to have 1.5 inch standoffs and a three spacer with two washers to secure the two side channels that hold the wheels together. This is important because we don't want these moving when squaring the chassis. And this is a three inch standoff plus a four. As I built this chassis, I have made sure to keep all the structural screws loose. Now these standoffs in the middle are tightened, but these ones are loose so that we can square it. The importance of squaring is so that in autonomous or when you're driving, the distances between the front and the back are the same and the distances between the two are the same. This makes it so that autonomous is more consistent and driving, there's less friction. Overall, squaring is a very important part of the drive. So as you can see, I can move this around. It's a little tight because these standoffs are in here. It would be looser if I loosen these, but these standoffs do give a general idea of where the square would be. All right, now when squaring the base, I made sure to keep all of my factory edges, which are the edges that were made by the factory and not cut by me, on the base side. When I'm doing this, I'm going to lay them on something made in a factory that we know is flat. As I do this, I'm going to hold this down with a decent amount of force, and I'm going to tighten each of the screws. Right now, I am making sure that the distance between these channels is the same. I tighten this down. Yeah. So I tighten each side separately so that, because when you tighten screws, the C-channel can move just a little bit. So if I tighten all one side, that can compound and cause it, the chassis to not be square. So I do one or two at a time per side and I switch back. As you can see, I am pressing down on the middle C-channels when I tighten these. All right, now you take a tape measure or a ruler, whichever one you have at hand, and you measure the distance between each channel to the 16. For me, this is 16 and a half from the end front. And then I go to the top and it is also 16 and a half. Now for the inside ones, you do the same thing. For me, it's 11 and a half plus a tick. And up top, it's 11 and a half plus a tick. And then I measure across. This one is a little less viable since you cut these channels. So it could be a little more or a little less. This one is 21 and a half inches plus two ticks. And this one is 21 inches plus two ticks as well. That is how you square a drive base. Okay, now we're going to work to build the, the, the wheels onto the chassis. 